주는 주어만 태 
worship you, Jesus. Mwabudu kama tendo mazuri. Kama unachua mekutendea subu ya leo. Mwabudu tu kama neno yako. Just worship him in your own words. Just lift his flame higher. He deserves your worship. Hakuna mbaenge tutendea kama sio yae. We have a reason to worship him. We have a reason to lift his name. We have a reason. We have a reason to worship him. Tukona sababu ya kumuwapu. We worship him. We worship him. Yeshu. Yeshua, Yeshua, Messiah. 
to Yeshua. Lift your hands, lift your hands. We bow down before your presence today to lift your name on high, our God, to declare your works in our lives, to declare your faithfulness in our 
our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are here to say, our Father, that you are the carrier of our burdens every day. Tuko hapa kutangaza ya kwamba bona, ni wewe unayatuhuisha kila wakati, ni wewe unayatushika na mkono wako, ni wewe unayatuongoza katika kila hatua. Bona, tuko hapa kutangaza matendo ya komema katika maisha yetu, katika jina la Yesu Christo. We thank you for this power, our God. We thank you for showing us mercy. We thank you for showing us your love. We thank you that today we have you as our portion in our lives in the name of Jesus. And we are here to say thank you. We are here to worship you, our God. We are here to enthrone your name on high. Katika jina la Yesu mwana wa mungu. Tunatangaza wema wako. Tunatangaza uaminifu wako. Tunasema ya kwamba wewe ni mwema sana. Wewe ni mzuri sana katika maisha yetu. Wewe ni mkuu. Wewe ndiwe bwana wa mabwana. Wewe ni mungu mwenye nguvu zote na uweza. Hakuna wakufanana na wewe. Hakuna wakulinganishwa na wewe. Ni asante kwa sababu ya wema ambao umetutendea. Ni asante kwa sababu ya hii siku umetufanya tukaweze kuiona. Asante kwa sababu ya kutuamsha. Asante kwa sababu ya kutuleta katika nyumba yako mahali ambapo tunatiwa nguvu, mahali ambapo tunahuishwa, mahali ambapo tunapata matumaini. Jina lako lihimidiwe, jina lako linuliwe milele. Tunasema ya kwamba hakuna Hakuna wakulinganishwa na wewe Hakuna wakufananishwa na wewe buwana Hakuna mwingine tunaya wakumtukuza Hakuna mwingine tulia naya wakumuabudu Ila ni wewe peke ya kebwana Katika jina la Yesu mwana wa mungu We are here because of you our God We are the way we are because of you our Father We are the way we are because of your masses We thank you our Father and we give you glory In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Kama tunajambo la kujivunia Ni kuwa na wewe Christo katika maisha yetu Kama kuna jambo la kufurahisha Ni kuwa na wewe katika maisha yetu Kama kuna jambo tunaweza teka Ninaweza likafanya tucheke Ni kwa sababu ya kuwa na wewe Katika maisha yetu We call you our portion this day We call you our portion this hour We call you our portion in our lives And we declare your goodness this morning In the mighty name of Jesus Christ There is no one beside you Thank you because of your faithfulness Thank you because of your love Thank you because of your mercy Thank you because of your kindness in our lives, our God, you have brought us this far. We are here to call you Ebenezer. As we lift our hands unto you, we say that you are our God. Katika jina la Yesu Tunajua ya kwamba kuna wengi Kuna miungu wengi wanaegemewa Kuna wengi wanaabudiwa hata masahaya Lakini sisi tuko hapa kusema Ya kwamba wewe mungu uishie Wewe ulia uba bingu na dunia Wewe ndiwe mungu wetu Katika jina la Yesu We owe you praise We owe you thanks And we owe you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for who you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us appreciate our God. With a mighty hand clap in the name of Jesus. Tumfrahie bwana kwa makofi mazuri. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Amen. Tunaweza keti kwa dakika chache. Kama tano. Halafu tutaendelea kuritia jina la bwana. Na mshukuru mungu kwa sababi ya mtumishi wa mungu ambaye ametumika kutunenea asubuhi ya leo na ninamshukuru bwana kwa sababu ya ule ujumbe ametujia nao bwana yesu asifiwe uh, nisaidie ku appreciate our god because of the grace of god in this house uh, kupitia wazazi wetu reverend kangethe and pastor nancy tufurahie watumishi wa mungu wote tufurahie wafanyi kazi na kila mmoja aliye mahali hapa Katika jina la Yesu, it was in the mind of God that we hear what we have heard today. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe, 
the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 23, Hatuta Soma, that God, the Lord is our shepherd. As we call the as we call God our shepherd, ni kumanisha ya kwamba, anajua kile ambacho tunahitaji kulishwa nacho asubuhi ya leo. Ama kile ambacho kimetupungukia katika moyo. Ama kile ambacho tunahitaji wakati kama huu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunapo nenewa na ujumbe ya kwamba ni wakati mpendo hata kama unajisikia ukiwa mdhaifu hata kama hakuna matumaini uweze kusonga mbele ni kwa sababu kuna kitu Mungu anaona kuna kitu Mungu amekuwekea hapo mbele lakini kuna uwezekano sisi tukakufa moyo ama sisi tukapoteza matumaini kabla ya tufike mahali pale praise the name of the living god i just want us to read a verse or two from the book of psalms chapter 22 and verse 8 Ditusaidie kujiombea asubuhi ya leo Na ninajua ya kwamba Tutatoka hapa tukiwa watu walio na nguvu mpya Mbana Yesu asifiwe Inasema hivi Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Then, wacha tuanze verse 7 kindly Ndiyo tuelewe vizuri Everyone who sees me mocks me they sneer and shake their heads saying is this the one who relies on the lord then let the lord save him if the lord loves him so much let the lord rescue him bwana yesu asifiwe tuweke tu hiyo verse kindly ah huyu ni daudi anayenena haya maneno Na haya maneno ya nanewa mtu ambaye anamtumainia mungu. Lakini akiangaliwa hakuna jambo la kutia moyo. Ama hakuna jambo linalo dhihirisha ya kwamba huyu mtu anamuamini mungu. I am not ignorant that whenever we trust the, the, the Lord, tunatazamia ya kwamba lide jambo tunamtumainia bwana kwalo, litaweza kufanyika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hapo ndipo dhihaka inainuka na tunaulizwa ama watu wanatuonyoshea kidole ama hata hali inakuuliza bado unamtumainia Bwana. Katika hii hali, katika huu ugonjwa, katika haya madeni, katikati ya hizi shida, bado unamwamini Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na inakani kana kwamba ni kiteko. Bado unasonga na safari ya imani. Bado huo unakuja kanisani kukesha. Bado unakuja asubuhi morning glory. Uko pale la nchawa. There are those voices ambazo ni za kutuvunja moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini ujube umetukujia asubuhi ya leo. That no matter what, we have to move on. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa nini to move on wapendwa? The Bible tells me about something good in trusting the Lord. I want us to go in the book of Psalms chapter 34 and verse 10. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa wakati kunaweza kuwa na maswali, lakini wewe unapoachiriwa, unapoachiria, ni wewe utapoteza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This is what the word of God says that even strong lion, even strong uh, young lions Sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will never lack anything good. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya kwamba hata simba, anaya julikana akona nguvu, anaya julikana ya kwamba akienda katika mawindo yake, atapata kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyo simba anaweza enda nja, anaweza kosa kitu ya kukura. Lakini yule mtu ambaye anamtumainia bwana, hata kosa kitu chema. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This is what Biblia ya Kiswahili nasema. Hiyo Psalms chapter 34 and verse 10. Tuweke na Kiswahili. Wana simba hutindikwa huona nja. Mbali wa mtafuta bwana hawatahitaji kitu chochote kilicho chema bwana yesu asifiwe unapomtumainia bwana mpendwa kwa leo unaweza ulizwa maswali 
kuna hali zinaweza kukuondolea macho haziondoki lakini unapoendelea kumtumainia Bwana unaposonga mbele katika hatua za imani ninataka nikwambia kwamba hautakosa kitu chema hautakuwa muhitaji wa kitu chema katika jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is for us kama vile tumeambiwa na mtumishi wa Mungu ya kwamba uh, the Bible says in that book of Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 17 wakati hakuna kitu inakutia moyo wakati ambapo hakuna jambo linakwambia endelea kumwamini Mungu even at that moment you will be there to trust the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You will cling unto the Lord because he is our hope. Finally, ningependa tuone hili neno from the book of Revelation chapter 3 tuwekea hiyo na Kiswahili tafadhali from the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8 Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, uh, hili ni kanisa la Philadelphia lilikuwa linanenewa na neno la Bwana linasema hivi na yajua matendo yako tazama nimekupa mlango uliofunguliwa mbele yako ambao hapana awae awezaye kufunga kwa kuwa unazo nguvu kidogo nawe umelitunza neno langu wala hukulikana jina langu bwana yesu asifiwe that is what makes us victorious bwana asifiwe turudishie hiyo verse kindly kidogo tu. Uh, hili kanisa linaambiwa ya kwamba kuna mlango Bwana ameweza kufungulia, kuwafungulia. Mpendwa kuna milango imefunguliwa kwa sababu yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mlango umefunguliwa kwa sababu ya jamii yako. Lakini hata hivyo Mungu anaelewa ya kwamba nguvu zetu ni kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe ya kwamba hivyo unasikia ukiwa mdhaifu, hivyo unasikia kuwatilia Mungu anaelewa. But guess what? Nawa umelit, uh, kwa sababu ya kulitunza jina la Bwana na kwa sababu ya kutolikana jina la Bwana, kwa sababu ya kusonga katika kilele cha kuamini Bwana, utafikia ahadi za Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Utaingilia katika hayo malango ambayo Bwana amekufungulia. Kwa nini wapendwa tuanze safari ya kumuamini Mungu na katikati tuweze kukata tamaa? Ninataka tusimame mbele za Bwana. Ujitanie kwa Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Unaweza kuwa umedhihakiwa na hali, unaweza kuwa umedhihakiwa na watu. Inaweza kuwa kuna watu wanasema wewe uishe, lakini wewe unasema nini kujihusu? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Besides what people are saying about you, what are you saying about yourself? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naomba tusimame sitaki kunena tena. Muda wetu ni mdogo sana. Sisi wote tuko na juhudi ya kujichukua mahali ambapo tuko. Hapa mahali ambapo unasikia umekwama. Ujichukue sasa. Useme ya kwamba ni mimi nitasonga mbele. Ni mimi nitafikia hizo ahadi za Bwana. Ni mimi ambaye sitakata tamaa mahali ambapo niko katika jina la Yesu. Tufungue vinywa vyetu mbele za Bwana. Tunapomwambia katika jina la Yesu, I will still trust in you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bado Bwana nitakuinulia macho yangu. Bado Bwana nitakutazamia wewe kwa sababu ni neno lako linaniambia ya kwamba wale ambao wanakutumainia wale ambao wanakuamini hakuna wakati ambapo watakosa kitu chema hawatakuwa wahitaji wa vitu vyema ni neno la Bwana linatuambia wapendwa ya kwamba tunapolitia jina la Bwana huwa anatuonyesha mambo makubwa mambo mazuri kwa nini tufe moyo mahali ambapo tuko kwa nini tufe moyo mahali ambapo tuko kwa nini tu, tukate tamaa na Mungu kwa nini mpendwa moyo wako ukose kumwamini Bwana tena Ila yeye ni mwaminifu Mwambia buwana sasa ni nakuja kwako I will still trust in you Though there is nothing That is encouraging me to do this I will still trust in you I will still lift my eyes unto you In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Nikikuita wewe tumaini Ninajua ya kwamba sita funikwa na aibu Kwa sababu hilo ndilo neno lako Ninajua ya kwamba buwana Ninapo kuinulia jamii yangu Ninapo 
ninapo kuinulia hali zangu ninakupa kuinulia watoto wangu ninapokuamini kwa sababu ya wazazi oh sitalia kwa sababu yao na aibu haitanipata kwa sababu ni neno lako linaniambia hivyo ninakataa kukwama mahali niko bali nitasonga mbele katika jina la Yesu Kristo i thank you my father because of the doors that you have opened for us that is why you are telling us today that we should cling unto you that we should fix our eyes unto you katika jina la Yesu my father and my king nguvu zetu zinaweza kuwa kidogo na wewe unatuelewa Mungu wetu unaelewa maudhaifu zetu lakini tumekuja kwako kadri na neno lako ya kwamba tutakutumainia ya kwamba tutakutazamia ya kwamba Bwana hatutafa moyo tunakataa hivyo katika jina la Yesu we proclaim your word upon our lives as David says our king that we shall not die but we shall live to testify of your goodness in our lives in the name of the Lord tunakataa kukata tamaa katika hii safari bwana tunatakataa kuvunjika moyo tukiwa katika hii njia ya kukuamini Mungu wetu lakini tunatangaza oi bwana tutakuamini hadi kilele hadi tuone uaminifu wako tuyaone na matendo ya ukuu wako tuone kutimia kwa ahadi zako katika maisha yetu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ wakati mwingi wapendwa huwa tunaona ni kana kwamba ile juhudi tulio nayo katika Bwana haitazaa matunda haitaleta matokeo tunayotarajia lakini ambia moyo wako kama Daudi himiza moyo wako asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba bado nitamtumainia Bwana ninaweza nikafikiria ya kwamba kuna njia zingine ambazo zi, they will work for me lakini nipate ya kwamba I will still go back to God I will still start again trusting upon God concerning this issue si sasa umwambie Bwana ninakuaminia nguvu nguvu za kukutumainia nguvu za kukutazamia kwa sababu ya jamii yangu hata kwa sababu ya maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu ya jambo lolote nimekataa kujitafutia njia zingine njia za kando ninajua ya kwamba wewe ni msaada katika jina la Yesu ninaamini neno lako Bwana ya kwamba hakuna anaye kutumainia atafunikwa na aibu ninapokutazamia wewe ninapokuinulia macho yangu ninapokuamini ninapokutafuta jambo moja ninajua ya kwamba sitafunikwa na aibu niposa ninakuja kwako naweza tegemea watu na wani let down ninaweza tegemea watu wa jamii na washindwe kunisaidia hata wakitaka washindwe lakini nikikutumainia wewe wewe ni zaidi ya simba wewe ni zaidi ya simba aliye na nguvu akienda katika mawindo anaweza kosa kitu cha kukula lakini haimo hivyo kwa wale wanakutumainia katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninatangaza asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba nitakutumainia wewe Bwana nitakuinulia macho yangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuwe kuna jambo ambalo linanitia moyo katika kukutafuta katika kukuamini kuwe hakuna jambo 
kuwe na dhihaka kuwe usiku hata kuwe mchana nitakutumainia wewe na bado nitasonga mbele katika safari ya imani katika jina la Yesu I will keep walking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ though every situation speaks death I declare life in the name of Jesus I declare like David that I shall live my family shall live to testify of your goodness to testify of your love to testify of your faithfulness in the name of Jesus for I know my father that great are those that are ahead of me na kwa hivyo ninakata kuvunjika moyo mahali ambapo niko katika jina la Yesu nina kuamini wewe ya kwamba haya malango uliyoyafungua kwa sababu yangu nitayaingia mimi nitaingia katika pumziko katika jina la Yesu pendwa tumeambiwa ya kwamba we must be willing to move on lazima sisi wenyewe tutamani lazima sisi wenyewe tutamani kusonga mbele unaweza ombewa na mtumishi wa Mungu anaweza tamani uinuke lakini wewe ulikuwa mapale moyo wako ulikauka mioyo yetu inaweza kauka kwa sababu ya ile hali ambayo tuko kwayo si ujiambie si unene na moyo wako na ukusudie ya kwamba kama vile neno la Mungu linatuambia in the book of Isaiah ili iza wawaka kujikukuta mavumbi na kuweza kusonga mbele ni kazi yako mpendwa kuachana na mambo ya kale hilo jambo limekufanyikia limefanya ukae chini uko pale you are clothing utangaze sasa katika jina la Yesu i must move on i must walk now i must rise up in the name of Jesus because i want to see this door that the lord have opened for me katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani ajuae lile jambo ambalo Mungu amemwandalia hivi karibuni mpendwa lakini uko pale umekata tamaa umevunjika moyo umekosa matumaini unaridhika pale tunapata wanahali ambazo zingine zinatuambia Oh our God is not faithful. Tumemwamini Mungu tu bure. Si sasa uambie moyo wako hata kama iko hivi, hata kama kuna dhihaka. I am the one who will move on in the name of Jesus. I am the one who will press on. Ni mimi ambaye nitajikukuta hayo mavumbi a nitaondoa hayo mavazi ya kale nitaondoa hayo matambara hayo mambo ambayo yamenifanyikia mwezi uliopita mwaka uliopita hayata nizuilia kusonga mbele kuingia katika malango ambayo Bwana amenifungulia katika jina la Yesu we might be weak our strength inaweza kuwa ni kidogo lakini ukikumbuka mpendwa kuna malango yametufungukia kuna mahali Bwana anataka kutuingiza mahali pa pumziko oh you press on in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord I will press on I declare the word of God that I shall live I will not die I am the one to testify of the goodness of the Lord I am the one who will testify of the faithfulness of the Lord wapendwa wewe ukikufa moyo na vile kuna watu wengi wanakutazamia utawaambia nini wewe ukivunji 
kuvunjika moyo ukikaa tu pale kwa sababu ya huo ugonjwa utawaambia watu nini na wanajua ya kwamba unamwamini Bwana wanajua ya kwamba umeokoka wanakutazamia wewe si ushikilie hiyo hiyo koti ya Mungu you cling upon the Lord na umwambie ya kwamba it is until you do it i am not moving it is until you do it for me i know no where mimi sijui msaada mwingine sijui mahali kwingine anaweza kimbilia lakini ni pako tu Mungu ni kwako tu Bwana nitajua ya kwamba jamii yangu inaweza pata msaada mimi sina kwingine mimi sijui misimu sijui miungu wa kigeni ninajua wewe peke yake na neno la Bwana linatuambia ya kwamba ni Mungu hutufundisha ni Mungu hutufundisha kumwamini hata wakati tulipokuwa wadogo tulipokuwa watoto wa kunyonya ni Mungu alitufundisha kumwamini kama ni Bwana ametufundisha kuamini wapendwa kwa nini tukufe moyo kwa nini tukate tamaa in the name of Jesus declare unto your life ya kwamba hautajitafutia dia zingine za kando wewe hautakaa pale wewe utasimama imara utasonga mbele katika jina la Yesu Kristo when the Lord does it for you uh, he will do it because he is God and he is known that he is God of all your life kwa hivyo kuna mambo Mungu atatufanyia kwa sababu inajulikana ya kwamba tunamwamini hata kumbali neno lake lidhihakiwe jina lake lidhihakiwe katika maisha yetu he will do it for his name's sake in the mighty name of Jesus someone declare ya kwamba nimekataa kukata tamaa nikiwa hapa katika jina la Yesu mpendwa unaweza kuwa katikati ya mambo yasiyo kufurahisha but i want to tell you this morning that the lord has not brought you this far for him to shame you hajakuleta ufike mahali umefika ili akuaibishe hapana mungu hajakuleta kama jamii mpaka mahali ambapo mmefika ili mkaweze kuaibika amekuleta ukafike mahali mmefika ili ajitukuze zaidi na hiyo jamii katika jina la Yesu amekuleta umbali amekuleta ili akadhihirishe ukuu wake katika maisha yako katika kiwango kingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo if there is something good this morning it is trusting upon the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ when nothing is working out trust upon the Lord this morning when you feel like how songi muamini bwana because he is god at work he is not like any man he is at work by day he is at work at night just for our sake in the name of jesus wakati ambapo neno la bwana linasema ya kwamba mungu wetu huwa halali na mungu wetu huwa hasinzi kwani mungu huwa anafanya nini mungu wetu huwa katika kazi aone maisha yetu yakiwa bora aone jamii zetu zikiwa zikiendelea vizuri kwa hivyo unapokosa kumtumainia mpendwa Oh it is all about us we are the failures in the name of Jesus father we give you glory you are our portion today we have chosen to trust upon you we have chosen to lift our eyes unto you because you are our strength whenever the, or that we feel weaker you are our strength wewe ni nguvu zetu wewe ni nguvu zetu wakati tuko wadhaifu wewe ni nguvu zetu wakati tuko chini umeelewa hali ya mioyo yetu asubuhi ya leo baba yetu tunaliitia jina lako ya kwamba baba katika jina la Yesu you will lift us from where we are unto another level in the name of Jesus Christ we bless your name we give you glory we worship your holy name our father
wapendwa besides whatever that is happening in your life know that god is faithful our god is faithful tumeimba mahali hapa na tukasema ya kwamba wewe ndiwe mungu na haubadiliki mungu wetu habadiliki kwa sababu ya hali ngumu katika maisha yetu Mungu wetu habadiliki kwa sababu kumekuwa na giza. Mungu wetu habadiliki kwa sababu kumekuwa na magonjwa. He is still the same God. He is still the mighty God. He is still the faithful God in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa nini tuvunjike moyo? Kwa nini mioyo yetu iname? Kwa nini tukwame mahali pamoja? Hata kama hakuna mtu wa kukushika mkono, mtu mainie Bwana anajua kile atafanya na hizi hali katika jina la Yesu mwana wa Mungu
vizuri na makofi mazuri. Amen. Nataka pia tuweze kushangilia baba yetu kwa kutuleta ni Sunday ingine ambao ametuleta. Na tunafurahia Mungu maana ametuhifadhi wiki mzima na leo tuko hapa kwa ajili ya jambo moja, kuinua na kulitukuza jina lake. So nataka tukue na nafasi nzuri ya kufurahia baba yetu ambao ametuamsha akatuleta leo tuko mahali hapa kwa ajili yake na tuna jambo lingine ila kuinua jina lake nataka tukue na kushirika mzuri wa wacheza vyombo na sisi pia ambia neighbor nitafanya vizuri leo maana niko mzima na kama kuna kasauti kana ku, 
sungumzia unajua wakati tuko kwa kanisa ndio kuna tusauti twingine tunasungumza na hapo nyuma kana kukumbusha yale mambo ambayo tumeelekezwa na pasta ama awa pasta wa asubuhi eh, pasta Ruben eh, ya jana ya juicy yanaanza kukukumbusha tu hali twingine negative nataka ukanyamazishe kwanza tunaposhangilia tuna ganga yaliyo sahi na kuendelea si tukuwe na nafasi nzuri ya kushangilia baba yetu na ujiandae vizuri nikihesabu moja maandalizi yanaendelea amen mbili tunasidi kujiandaa nikisema tatu tunafurahia Mungu mpaka wale wako hii heri ya wajue tuko hii heri ya kwa ajili ya nafasi yetu amen si moja naona maandalizi yanafanyika mbili Tatu tufurahie baba yetu na makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Praise Jesus. Amen. Furahia kabisa maana uko mzima. Haleluya. Tunakupenda baba yetu. Thank you for this Sunday. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. vizuri pia kwa wale ni wa kanisa letu ya online wa Facebook wako YouTube na wamechagua kufuatilia kanisa letu ya Kingdom Seekers Kayole tuwafurahie vizuri na makofi mazuri pamoja na wageni wetu waliokuja kwa nguru nasi wako katikati yetu wafurahie vizuri kabisa amen wale wanatufuatilia online tunaitwa Kingdom Seekers Kayole tunawapenda asante kwa kuchagua ku fuatilia channel yetu andika kitu hapo chini fuatilia ibada yote chini ya mtumishi wetu Daniel Kangede si tufurahie mtumishi wa Mungu vizuri pia maana ametupatia hata nafasi ya kutumika mahali hapa si kawaida sasa nataka upate nafasi ya kufurahia neiba vizuri na unamwekea tambasamu kidogo e usimkue Amen. Amen. Nimesema furahia neighbor. Si asema piga ukiangalia pande hii. Furahia neighbor aliye karibu na wewe vizuri kabisa. Ni neighbor wako mfurahie vizuri kabisa. Mwambie unakaa vizuri. Unakaa vizuri. You look smart. Kabisa kabisa. Mnakaa vizuri. Wamama vijana na wazee mnapendeza. Sasa unaweza msalimia unapoketi. Salimia vizuri na unaweza salimia watu kadhaa usikarakishe usi, kuketi salimia neiba wawili watatu waambie karibu kwa ibada Thank you Asandeni kuja kwa mbudu najua tumealikwa na Mungu na wale ni wageni wetu tunawapenda Asandeni kuchagua kwa mbudu nasi siku ya leo tutapata nafasi nzuri ya kuwakaribisha lakini kwa saa hii jinsi pali pazuri na tutabarikiwa pamoja. Nilete presentation kidogo ya Sunday School wanaitwa Junior Youth. Wako pale nje wamejiandaa vizuri kabisa tuwalete na makofi mazuri. Junior Youth. Naona wanazidi kujiandaa. Wanaitangwa Young Billionaires. Walikataa kuitwa Millionaires wakaingia kwa Billionaires. Na naona kuna maandalizi wanafanya Leo wako na kitu tofauti. Siwa ongezee makofi kidogo tafadhali. Kuna kitu wanataka kutusomesha hapa saa hii saa hii na utatoka umesoma kitu. Karibuni.
Hello. Yes. Niliwaambia aje mambo ya keki. Bado mjatayarisha? Na sinilisema hema bado iwekwe. Hapana, hapana. Sita condone something like that. Yes. Aya, okay. Martin. Martin. Uki jana kwa api. Martin. Martin. Yes, sir. Uki jana, how many times will I call you? I'm sorry, sir. Nilikuwa jiri kazi uko na chelewa chelewa hivi? No, sir. Nikiko hoa unafaa kuu umesha afika. Sawa, sawa. Yes, sir. Okay, listen, listen very carefully. Next time da kuicha marambili, you'll be signing your resignation papers. Uende nyumbani. Sawa, sawa. Yes, sir. Okay, listen. Tomorrow is a very important day in my life. Tomorrow is my wedding. And so, uh, you know how prominent I am. Tomorrow, senior people in the government, entrepreneurs, business tycoon, will be attending my wedding. Nobody below my class is allowed to enter that gate. Sasa. Yes, sir. Yes, taki kukuona ukundani. Ukai uko kwa gate. Sasa. Yes, sir. Okay, you're dismissed. What <laughs> Learn is quite important to our kids. Today is their birthday. 
And I'm like, uh, I think we give them with something. Yeah. So like, to a gift na something special, because late's their birthday, you know, neza wapatia anything. So I think we should call them, no, so that to do a on a touch, what I may provide for them. Abigail, Abigail. Miss Idea with a glass of juice, please. So I like to a gift, to a party presents. Maybe kuna Kenya on attack to a party. Yeah, now Najo we can provide. Yeah, I think a big girl should call them. Watch a concert later, Maji, then we'll call them. Okay. Kill later, Maji. That's a good idea, by the way. Because today is their special day, so at least that's a thoughtful idea of you. So, yeah. Watch a meeting. A big girl! Go and call for me, Tamara and Natasha kindly. Their dad wants to talk to them. So, okay. But then, how is the business in Zimbabwe doing? Uh, the business is good, uh -huh. the profit. The business is giving, but they can't complain. Yeah, I'm grateful. Oh, Nani Liacha, some investor, waki, waki taka ku invest in that business. Yeah. Oh. So, have a seat, have a seat. Ashanti and Tanash. My children, my baby girls. So, the only important day in your life. So, I'd like you to mention anything as a birthday present. The car that you want, I'll buy it. Just mention it. Watch it once in a tanash. Dad, I just wish that I can see. Why? Why is it me? Am I going through all this? Was I meant for this? Will I live in the world of darkness? Dad, I just wish I could see my sister as the best marathon in the world. I just wish I could see you again.
I just want to walk there. I want to be a person who depends on herself. I don't want to be a, a troublemaker to my mother. Dad, I want to have my legs. I want to break records. Dad, please grant my wish so that I can walk. So that I can have my legs back. Please, daddy, please, I want my legs back. Please. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Why did you mistreat those beggars? It's all your fault. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you mistreat the beggars? Do you think your money can give your kids love? Do you think your money can give the kids eyes? Why did you do that? Why? Why did you mistreat those beggars? Let's talk about love. It is written in the Bible that you should love your neighbors, you love yourself. At the end of the day, we are created with God's image and His likeness. Poor, rich, deaf, blind, physically challenged. We are all equal in the eyes of God. Yes, you have money. Money can buy medicine, but not cure. Yes, you have money. Money can buy books, but not knowledge. Yes, you have a lot of money. Money can buy food, but not appetite. So every time when you serve the food to your neighbors, make sure when it goes round, you can eat that food. Mama raised no fool, and that's the one day you can money to fika Hollywood. Hata kama si milonea, kwa goni kuna money. And that's why I call myself Derek, the young billionaire. Thank you. Amen. Ofraye vizuri kabisa. Kabisa kabisa wamefanya kazi nzuri. Amen. 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 Kuliza neighbor umesoma kitu Hiyo ni tumetoka kwa exam room Na wale wameka karibu na wadada naona Munaona kama ni real ilikuwa hacking Cheka kidogo Unajua wa mama wanabebwa sana Anda naona wengine wamelia Lakini ni ukweli Yao mambo ya nafanyika Si unjingine hapa tu So kama we ni boss Kama umeketi karibu na boss muambie boss Usiongese kitu Mambie boss Na wale wameketi karibu na security Mambie security Mambie tu security e, Wetu uzuri ya wafai zile miwani kali kali Na Nikaona huo moja amepita hapo Nikuwa nafikia ule ndada atamwekea kitu kwa kikombe Nikapata kumbe Amen Si tulete Glorious Shining Choir na makofi mazuri Tualete na makofi mazuri wako na presentation moja Waongeze makofi usichoke Furaia vizuri maana wakunaka vizuri Wako very smart Karibuni
umetutendea umetutendea tusiyatarajia kwetu jina lako yesu Pigie makofi mazuri kabisa Wanaimba vizuri Wanaimba vizuri Tufurahie pia wachezai viombo pia wamecheza vizuri Amen Wimbo kama huo Wameimba vizuri Si tuongezee makofi ya mwisho Abia naimba changa muka wacha Vire wana sema Amen, Amen Uwimbo kama uo ungependa kusikiza tena na tena Fuatilia kwa yetu Iyo ni kwa yetu Na aturingi Amen Na wa Wakona njimbo zingini pale YouTube Fuatilia Glorious Shining Choir na utabarikiwa Nikaribishe wageni Wewe ni mgeni mara yako wa kwanza Leo umechagua kwa mbudu nasi Na uko katika tietu Mali umeketi nua tu mkono tukuone Tukaribishe rasmi Naona mikono imeinuliwa Situfraye baba yetu vizuri mana tuna wageni wengi Wengi kabisa Simama tu mgeni wetu simama tu Mali umeketi, simama tu, simama tu Tuzidi kuwa furaia kabisa wanapo simama Amen Si, alie keti karibu na mgeni, simama tu ni karibishie ule mgeni Vizuri kabisa Tunawageni wengi pale juu Hapa chini, sijui kama kwa hema kuna ya mgeni Naomba, tukimaliza surface, usiondoke Tungetaka kutana na we one on one Utapitia wale wako hapa chini Wale wako juu utashuka pale kwa gate Hapa ama mlango ya kanisa hapo Kuna asha meketi hapo watakuelekeza ofisi Na tutakutana na wee pale kwa ofisi Tujandiliane ndaika tano tu usiondoke Kuna mtumishi atakutana na wee pale kwa ofisi Pia maombi ya one on one ungetaka kuombewa Tunaye mtumishi wa mungu, tunaye muamini Na natuelekeza vizuri Our reference, si tufreye reference makofi mazuri pia Hamekua mtumishu wetu kwa miaka Na aja tupoteza Na tunafreye ile kazi Anafanyia mungu na anatufanyia Na anatu Ama tusaidia sisu wote kwa ali moja Hakuna nilisema End time nikisimama lasima ni wafundishe kakitu Ya kuwa kuna wa hapa na wa hapa nyuma Kwetu nasemanga kwa Sioni wakamba hapa Yeye ana wambele na wakubebe wa nyuma Sisi wote hametueka kwa kifuwa chake Situ furaye mtumishu wa mungu mara ya mwisho Amen Na Ni mawakaribisha tena Wale ni wageni wako online pia Karibuni fuatilia ni channel yetu Mungu wa wasaidie mbandos wa mutakosa Tutamalisa pamoja Amen Na pia ni watangasia matangaso machache ya ofisi Ya kuwa wale wako kwa classes ama bible classes Class next 27 mwesi huu After this coming weekend Ile weekend ingine Fuatilia class ni hapo Tere ishirini na saba Pia tumeanda siku kubwa Ambia neiba siku kubwa Kama unaona mekasirika muambia usilete makasiriko hapa Muambia piga smile Yes, tukona tare kumina mbili Next month Tuna ile siku tunasemanga tunachadhi Amen Tuko na date na mtumishu wa mungu na tunasidi kujianda. Mimi ni mejianda vizuri kabisa. Uliza naiba umejianda vizuri.
Kwambia ni kulingana na vile naona watu wanacheka ni maandalizi yako kabisa. Amen. So tunajiandaa pale kwa groups zetu wazee wa mama vijana na Sunday school. Kwa hizo group 4 hapo ndio tunafanya maandalizi yetu na tumebakisha like one month. Tuko na like four Sundays alafu tukutane hapa hapa. Mwambie usikose. Na umumark vizuri. Maana umemwambia mark vizuri umwangalie hiyo Sunday kama atakuwa kwa ibada. Lakini najua sisi wote tunapenda mtumishi wa Mungu na reverend tutafanya ucheke. Hiyo tarehe mbili utaenda nyumbani ukismile pamoja na mam na naamini itafanyika. Amen. Asante. Ni kumbushe ama kabla ni wakumbushe ni furahie e, wa mama wamekuwa na seminar ya four days na iliisha jana. Ilianzia Wednesday, Thursday, Friday na Saturday jana ilikuwa siku ya mwisho kama ulikuwa kwa huo mkutano club once nasikia watu walikuwa wengi si tufurahie wa mama pia pamoja na kiongozi wao maana wamekuja kusoma kitu najua wametoka hapo na kitu na kuna mboma sitazidi kupona amen najua nimesema wa mama ubebwa na mambo sana sisi wase pia ubebwa na mambo lakini atuli ile inaonekana yetu inashuka kwa moyo inakuanga kali sana hiyo ya moyo ni kali sana na hapo ndio wamama wanasaidiwa kama utaki mzee apate na stress mikutano kama hii usikose amen e, kuna mambo unasaidiwa pale kwa semina hautasaidiwa kwa ibada na kwa hiyo wa mama wote wanakumbushwa kutakuwa na mkutano leo kidogo tu baada ya that service kuna mkutano wa ladies all ladies kama wewe ni mama tafadhali vijana na wazee tukiondoka baki kiongozi wenu angependa kukutana nanyi kwa ule mkutano si tusimame tunapoingia kwa sifa za Mungu tunapoleta wale wanatuelekeza na makofi mazuri si tuleta wa praise team na makofi mazuri kabisa Unapokaribisha naibu kwa sifa za Mungu karibuni Haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tunakuinua Bwana Wewe waja Bwana Tunakuinua Bwana 